In this video, I'll be discussing cabled decreases. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. So cabled decreases are multiple uh, decreases. So they are more than a single decrease and they are usually worked in a full fashioned manner. I'll show you what that means in a second. Cable decreases are used wherever you want to make a large number of decreases rapidly. So cable decreases are usually full fashioned, in which means that they lean towards the edge instead of away from the edge. And they make it for a rapidly decreasing line in your knitting. You'll find this in some full fashion shoulder shaping um, at the back shoulders where you need to have um, a sharper line of decreases, but you can find these in other spots as well. To work these, you need to have a cable needle handy. They're called cabled decreases because they are very similar to working a cable. So these are usually two stitches over two stitches or three stitches over three stitches. So you are decreasing away two stitches or three stitches. To lean towards the right, you will, let's say we're working a two over two cable decrease to the leaning to the right. You would slip the first two stitches to a cable needle and hold them to the back. And then you work, this is not really a cable needle, but we'll make it work. Similar to a, uh, a three needle bind off, you then work the first stitch of the left hand needle together with the first stitch on the cable needle, like so. And let's get that one off the cable needle back there. Um, there. So I've worked those two stitches together and then you work the next two stitches together like so. And so those two leftmost stitches have traveled over the two rightmost stitches and those two have gone away. And so this leans to the right and is a decrease of two stitches. Let me show you that again. Two stitches onto a cable needle, hold to the back, knit the first stitches together, like so, dropping that one off the cable needle, and then knit the next two stitches together. like so. So that's the right leaning version and a three over three would be similar but you would slip three to a cable needle and hold to the back and then work those the next three stitches together with the three that are on the cable needle. And the left leaning version is similar but you slip two to a cable needle and hold to the front and then work the first stitch on each needle together. Drop them off and then work the next stitches together and drop them off. I just split the yarn. I fixed that. like so. And that leans to the left. So that's the basics of cabled decreases. Have you used these decreases before? What do you think of them? Let me know in the comments below. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.